I right sure now? do, yeah. Oh, I do. I have a couple thoughts. Um, we had a foggy morning, and uh, it's kind of got out here, or dissipated, and now we are seeing clouds and a little bit of rain. Mm. So that's where okay. we're at now. It's not going to be the wettest day this week, though. It's actually going to get pretty wet as we go into Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, as you can tell, though, the clouds have moved on, and we kicked that fog on out of here. I mean, the visibility was really low uh, at times this morning. It's looking much better, uh, but you might still have some slowing going on because of some uh, spotty showers that happened uh, through the afternoon. Cold front's going to be dragging off to the southeast. That will bring in uh, that rain, and it's not going to be heavy rain. That We're expecting that later on this week, but enough to get the ground wet for some locations. So you can see some spotty showers uh, just to the north of us in Washington. That's going to be the best bet for some rain as we go through midday here. But we could get a little bit of precipitation here in Portland and Vancouver, but I think it's likely just going to be a trace uh, at the most. So Longview, you probably had a little bit of uh, light precipitation near Elon A and the center right now is probably seeing uh, a little bit of uh, rain, but uh, that's about all we're going to muster for our time today. We get into Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. We still have that rain chance. Uh, it gets even uh, higher uh, in probability as we go through the next couple of days. But Wednesday is going to be a little breezy, but Thursday is going to be the day that I think we're going to get some heavy rain. So follow me along here. I'll kind of time it out. That front kind of falls apart. We still have a little bit of rain, maybe areas of government camp as we go into this evening, but we'll start to see some drying uh, by the time we get into our evening commute. And then here comes this big area of moisture, this massive moisture that will start off in Washington and eventually drag down to the south by the time we get into our Thursday. So very wet there for the Olympic Peninsula. They might collect five to 10 inches of rain uh, just through the next couple of days. And then it seeps and sags down to the south by the time we get to our Thursday morning. Here comes the heavy rain. I'll have some updates when you're joining us on Thursday morning, but this could produce uh, maybe upwards to an inch of rain by the time we get through our Thursday and into our Friday morning. And it doesn't stop there. We have more rain late Thursday into our Friday morning, and we're just going to continue to collect that rain. Uh, snow levels will start to come down Friday, which means we'll probably have some snow for the higher elevations. So this is what you could expect as far as how much rain for uh, today. I think we're just going to get a trace tomorrow, probably only a trace to maybe a tenth of an inch of uh, rain for our Wednesday. So not much going on there. Astoria, you might see more Long Beach, but here in Portland, Vancouver, not that much. Thursday, I'm thinking uh, close to an inch of rain when it's all said and done. Some locations uh, could see even more than that, maybe an inch and a quarter. Friday, still pretty wet, uh, about a half an inch and then through the weekend I'm expecting maybe an inch of rain to two inches of rain. So overall uh, we might collect about two to three inches of rain when it's all said and done. Temperatures today along the coast in the 50s. Some clouds are going to be in and out. Showers are going to be decreasing uh, through the I-5 corridor in the 60s, lower 60s to the upper 50s. Cloudy for our midday and some isolated showers from Salem to McMinnville. Your seven day forecast 63 on Wednesday, Thursday at 56, Friday 53, a chance for a couple thunderstorms. And Saturday and Sunday, still wet for the weekend. Mm, that's an active week right there. It sure is. Uh, just a friendly reminder, try to clear out those drains if you have Ooh, them in the neighborhoods. Yeah. Some Good advice. We have a lot of leaves outside right now. All okay, right. Thanks, thanks a lot, Joseph. We'll be right back with a look at the stories coming up at